Hello, I'm Mayor Jeff Longwell, and it's my pleasure to bring to you our first State of the City. Instead of holding an event and giving a speech, we are going to provide a video that we can bring to you wherever you are. I want to start by thanking you for allowing me to be your mayor. And I also want to thank my council members for the support that they've shown me in my first year as mayor of this city. We are going to highlight some of our successes over the past year and share some goals for 2016. Good things are happening in Wichita and let me start with a topic close to my heart, our quality of life. Quality of life continues to be a key area of focus. In 2015, we approved an urban wetlands park in northwest Wichita, which will be the first of its kind in the Midwest and will include water conservation, which is an added benefit for our community. We also approved a new splash park and approved two new community improvement districts along West Kellogg to improve the area near our brand new airport. On the east side, we saw the opening of the Fieldhouse Project near K96 in Greenwich. It includes a 140,000 square foot sports facility with a trampoline park which is expected to bring in more than 350,000 visitors, keeping our hotels at or near capacity every weekend. This is also an exciting time for downtown Wichita, as Project Downtown is transforming the core area. In 2015, $180 million of development was initiated along Douglas Avenue. Planned projects will double the core's residential population. Also, we made downtown more fun by building a pop-up urban park along Douglas. Three major downtown projects kicked off in 2015. Exchange Place Apartments, Union Station, which will connect Old Town and the Downtown Arena, and River Vista Apartments, which is energizing the riverfront development. Core area attractions are important to our quality of life, and our central library is moving into the digital age to better serve the community. The council recently approved the new downtown library called the Advanced Learning Center. We're excited about the many state-of-the-art features it will offer in its location on the riverfront. In 2015, we also saw cultural arts successes and milestones. We are seeing an upsurge of cultural activity in Wichita and our downtown arena continues to bring us together. The Garth Brooks concert series alone brought 75,000 people to downtown. People also enjoyed final Friday art crawls, music shows and a variety of other entertainment in the heart of the city. In Wichita, we are breaking new ground in economic development, including the Innovation Campus at Wichita State University. Innovation is the key to our future and a new Wichita economy. The city is thrilled to partner with Wichita State University on the Innovation Campus. We want Wichita to be known not only as the air capital of the world, but also a leader in innovation and collaboration, a destination for manufacturing and tech jobs. This new approach is embodied in Bregg, the blueprint for regional economic growth. The goal is to diversify and grow our region's largest employment industries and create a culture of support between local organizations. Wichita is a proud partner of Bragg in our collective efforts to grow jobs and investment in this regional economy. Wichita is already a world leader in exports, according to the Brookings Institution. Last May, soon after I took office, we finalized the regional export plan. The plan is designed to help us promote our workers and sell the great products they produce here at home. We are working hard to prepare Wichita for growing opportunities and challenges we may encounter in the future. We are strengthening our role as a market-based facilitator for economic development. We have been working to create a more friendly environment for developers and job creators. Moving away from traditional incentives, this is a new approach in the city's economic development and job creation efforts. We will continue working with organizations like Workforce Alliance to help job seekers and employers. Now I want to share with you the importance of a strong and modern infrastructure. 
We continue to invest in our streets. In 2015, we implemented a new pavement preservation approach, which resulted in the completion of a two-year program to repair all thermal cracks throughout the city. We also started construction to build out Kellogg on the east and west sides. One, two, three. To the east, one project reaches past Greenwich to extend the East Kellogg Freeway to the K96 interchange. And to the west, another project is rebuilding the Kellogg interchange at Interstate 235. Three, two, one. Right. In 2015, we opened the new Wichita Dwight D. Eisenhower Terminal and Parking Garage. The new terminal built entirely with user and airport generated fees, not property taxes or sales tax, is a modern facility that promotes our proud aviation history and provides a new window into our community. Another key infrastructure goal is to conserve water. In 2015, we announced a partnership with Spirit Aerosystems to reuse wastewater and save drinking water. This is good news for businesses and for residents. It's an example of the city working with a major employer on innovative solutions to support growth and serve the public interest. In 2015, Consumers exhausted the original $1 million rebate fund and rebates were provided on more than 1,000 water saving appliances. The success of this program encouraged the City Council to extend it for 2016. We strengthened our public transportation options in 2015, adding new routes and 10 new buses while retiring 14 old ones resulting in improved reliability and customer service. We still have transit challenges ahead, but ridership grew for the first time since 2011. The city of Wichita is in good fiscal health. We worked with citizens and various stakeholders to present a $227 million budget with $27 million in reserve, keeping our mill levy steady for the 22nd year in a row. Our finances are in good shape, but we are constantly implementing new efficiencies and improving our budget process. Public safety continues to be a top priority for our city. We made significant improvements following the Wichita Police Department's organizational assessment conducted by Wichita State University's Hugo Wall School and involving extensive community engagement. The assessment generated 57 recommendations and 20 projects designed to increase transparency and trust. One result is the commitment to outfit every field officer with body cameras. As of December, 212 body cameras are in use. This new technology will protect and serve residents and the officers who risk their lives every day to protect our community. We are improving recruiting efforts and expect to hire even more individuals into law enforcement. We've also added Chief Gordon Ramsey to our police force. Chief Ramsey has a strong commitment to community policing and using data to help reduce crime. And we are thrilled to welcome him to Wichita. We are excited to continue our work with our regional stakeholders. We want to partner with our friends. We want to work closely with our friends at Regional Economic Area Partners, Blueprint for Regional Economic Growth, Workforce Alliance, the National Institute for Aviation Research, and Wichita Independent Business Association, along with other amazing organizations to continue growing our community. We have a renewed interest and focus in regional growth and partnerships. For the first time in years, Job growth in Wichita is cautiously positive, and we hope to see a continued upward trend in adding jobs to our market and diversifying our employer base. Diversification doesn't mean that we're going to turn our backs on aviation, not here in the air capital. Spirit still has long-term contracts with Boeing, Airbus, and others, and a backlog of orders worth billions of dollars. Textron Aviation and others are continuing efforts to strengthen their place in the market. Wichita's aircraft companies have a huge slate of local suppliers from medium-sized firms to small machine shops. 
We are sourcing the expertise of bright minds to help drive us forward and highlight areas of improvement. Community leaders across our region are raising their voices and lending their talents to help guide the city in the right direction toward growth, innovation, and enhanced ability to attract and retain bright, ambitious people who are passionate about Wichita. We are inspired by the work of the young professionals of Wichita who will be launching community pride, diversity, and inclusion initiatives. They will be promoting more positive Wichita perceptions and helping ensure a more welcoming environment for all young talent. We want to find new ways to engage and hear from you. We want to connect with you where you are in ways you want to connect with us. Through social media, at Facebook and Twitter, through town hall budget meetings and apps, along with other ways that are convenient for you. Please stay connected, remain engaged, and help us continue serving you in many ways every day.